All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. It's the elbow there. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. So he showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has the ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was a full display when he beat Nate Diaz. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Red Masvidal. Ooh, big shot land. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Lunges forward with a left there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big knee to the body! Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Oh, just digs into the box. He shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, straight right. Big elbow. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Really timing his shots nicely. Good toe. He's able to the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Second round underway. Oh man, this is one thing you, you do not oh, 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 what a shot to the body. Tell you what, let's go to a champion. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Back to the feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which Throwing these ground strikes, it's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Moss 
Aspinall's now dealing with a cheek cut. And he's back up. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to... Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Beautiful knee. Knee to the body. Oh, he finally straight to the body. This fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Not every day you see a fight end do a body kick like that. He used a lot of body work to slow down his opponent. Once his opponent slowed down, he was able to really impose his will on him and get the finish in such a high-profile fight. We send it in some... All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-two And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Really making good use of his... No! Started here, round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, nice job to land that knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Missed with that jab attempt. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Beautiful body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Watch the strike. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Huge kick to the body. Wow! Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, spinning back to He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, wow. Head kick. Big knee. Knee to the body. Straight to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Strike 
to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midset. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the He mixed it up. He went high when he was a part of going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Second round, he was a little. Oh. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish round. He's out. Unbelievable way. But what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Big body kick. There, pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Good jab. There's the kick, it's blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And both guys really throwing with authority. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Great point. Oh. Oh. Back to the feet. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick oh. landed by this man. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! They're going at it now. Oh, what a shot. He told us he was doing a check. Yeah, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice punch there. Oh, 
He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. <laughs> 